Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a cool one. I had some rare plants delivered and I'm going to share them with you and repot them, mix up some soil. So this should be a good one. Now the company that shipped them to me is called Aeroid Market. They're based in Indonesia. They're a really cool company and they sell a lot of uncommon and rare plants, plants that are hard to find. And buying them through this company, you can get them at a much more reasonable rate than say if I were to get them from a plant shop. Now I don't order plants very often. I'm very fortunate in the, in the plant stores I have around here. However, there are a lot of plants that I can't find that I would love to have. And going through a company like Aeroid Market um, is a really wonderful option and a lot of people actually ask me hey where do you recommend ordering plants from so they reached out offered to send me some rare plants in exchange for me sharing them with you guys and my experience with them so win-win across the board and I'm very excited to share what amazing plants they sent to me oh my gosh so they actually arrived while I was in Miami recently and so my husband was very gracious and unwrapped them for me took good care of them until I arrived home I will be showing you guys but they arrived bare roots so I will be repotting them today and today I'm gonna to repot in soil. You can do a lot of different options, but I'm going with soil today. I'll be mixing up my own. It's very simple soil mixture. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. And as you can see, I have a full blown houseplant obsession that I love to share with all my planty friends on this channel. Um, so if that brings a smile to your face, welcome and you may want to subscribe so that my videos show up in your newsfeed that's the only way for them to show up in the newsfeed is if you subscribe to my channel i'm also on instagram and i have to say we're like right at 10,000, so probably next week i'll be shopping for a house plant for the giveaway something really cool and uncommon for 10,000 followers so uh if there's still time so if you want to be part of that make sure you follow me on instagram as well so with that said let me show you the amazing amazing plants aeroid market sent to me like I said, there are three plants. The first one is this philodendron pedatum. How beautiful is this? As the leaves mature, they get like some kind of interesting ridges and the leaves just become more and more developed. I'll put a picture here of what this plant will look like once the leaves get a little bit more mature. And this arrived in great shape. Now this one didn't come with as large of a root system as the other plants. However, I found this one to be pretty hardy. Um, the roots that it did come with look good. There is new growth happening. Happening here I could already propagate this if I wanted to because it has you know multiple nodes on there good size a lot of leaves on this one this one has the most leaves of all the different plants now with it being philodendron very easy care super super plant um, this one didn't have any yellow leaves now because they're shipping from Indonesia and with the different regulations that they have going on they said it can take up to three or four weeks it didn't take that long for this for my plants to arrive, but it, they said to mention it can take up to that long right now. Such a beautiful plant, absolutely fantastic. I was thrilled that they sent this one. All right, on to the next. Ta-da! They sent me a gorgeous ring of fire, just gorgeous. This is a wish list plant. I don't have one of these. I couldn't believe it when I opened this up. My understanding is that ring of fire is very similar to jungle boogie. I have a jungle boogie and it grows like a weed. It is such an, a hardy, great plant. The difference with Ring of Fire is that it has this beautiful variegation. Now this is a brand new leaf. Um, and as you can see, it has some really, really pretty pink variegation. It's kind of marbled variegation. And then as the leaf matures, it looks more like this. Whereas you can see the marbled variegation, the, depending how much light it gets, it can turn a creamy white or even a, a light green color such a cool called ring of fire because it does have those different colors in there whether it's pink or orange or white or green you know it is like all the colors that you get in fire I'm just going to show you all the different leaves because they're all so beautiful I love the shape like the razor kind of shape along the outside ruffled almost so beautiful it is a philodendron so in my experience philodendrons are some of the best plants to grow and look it even even comes with a beautiful new growth point happening there there now this one did have a yellow leaf on there which is you know pretty common when having plants shipped the yellow leaf fell off even though it got the yellow leaf the roots look good as you can see it has a nice healthy root system there is new growth happening so even though it had the yellow leaf and it fell off it's in great shape now they did say that if your plant arrives and for some reason it dies from 
whatever reasons to let them know and they will send another one which i think is absolutely fabulous that they really back up their plants like that ring of fire wishless plant now to buy it from their website is a lot more reasonable than if i were to get it from a plant shop around here so and it looks in great shape i mean so they do the phytosanitary and and all the things um to make sure that they're uh really good quality not gonna arrive with pests and that kind of thing. I can't believe they sent this plant to me. This is a variegated philodendron giganteum. So I'll put a picture here of what it looks like when it gets in its mature form. What a freaking beautiful plant. Oh my gosh, I am in love. This one arrived with the uh, oldest leaf looking a little rough. Not terrible, but definitely on its way out. You can see this leaf looks good. This leaf looks good. Look at that beautiful variegation on there. Oh my gosh, I can't. I just can't. The roots are looking good and there's a little new growth point coming out here. There is a new leaf starting to form there, which is really exciting. So when I saw this one, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I know they didn't and they did. So I'm going to mix up some soil for these guys really quick and go ahead and repot them. So I would recommend them. I This was a great experience. You know, looking on their website, they have some fantastic, fantastic, hard to find plants for reasonable prices. And I am so grateful. And just so you know what to expect, this was the box. The leaves were wrapped up in these. So the leaves were protected, which was nice. The roots were wrapped up in this with tape. And according to my husband, they were still moist and doing really well. The plants were in great shape when they arrived. The mixture I am doing today is half potting soil, a quarter perlite and a quarter of orchid bark. So if Ashley now could go back to Ashley then, I tell myself it doesn't have to be exact. You know, just roundabout is fine. Any type of potting soil will do. Most potting soil doesn't have maybe enough aeration in there, all the chunky bits that you want that really lets the roots get nice air. I'd rather water my plants a little more often than risk them sitting in water or super wet soil and getting root rot, which will quickly kill the plant. I really recommend for orchid bark, this orchid bark that you can find um, on Amazon and it's fantastic. So now I'm gonna add in a bit of orchid bark. Last up is perlite. Now this gets really dusty and gets everywhere, so I'm gonna cover my mouth while I do this. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Looks good. Something satisfying about mixing it up. You know, this looks like a really good soil. It'll be airy. What I normally do is just put a little bit on the bottom there. Love these little pots that I ordered from Amazon. Um, all this stuff is gonna be linked in my description. For you guys, um, these are really great because I can see the roots as they grow with them being clear. And then I like that they have nice drainage holes on the bottom for bottom watering and just for a really good drainage, which is important. And then normally I'll put them in a cash pot or, or a cover pot that helps with bottom watering and just looks nice. So first one down, very simple. I have this little tray that I'm gonna use. I bought it for a dollar from the dollar store and I'm gonna put them on here and then I'll give them a little water. You know, it's just handy to have little trays like that around. Gotta mix up a little bit more soil. I don't have enough. A little bit more soil and then a little more orchid bark. Next up, the beautiful ring of fire. So I wanted to do soil for the sake of this video, but lately I've been potting up a lot of my plants with sphagnum moss and just watering it with water with a little bit of liquid dirt. And my plants are thriving with that. Um, and it's really nice because you don't have to mess with soil. Lots of different options depending what your preference is. The potatum. Now I haven't really done much with like I haven't ventured into that yet, but from the looks of it, it looks fantastic because there's really nothing you have to do besides just put water in it and the plants seem to do to really like it based off of what i've seen other people do so maybe i'll venture into that but for now i've been just doing mostly soil and, and sphagnum moss as my two mediums but whatever makes life easy when you have this many plants if you can get on something that, that makes your life any kind of easier i'd say go for it since using fertilizer, it doesn't have to be this kind. I'll include a link in my description to this one. Since using a type of fertilizer, I have noticed such a huge difference in the growth of my plants, so I highly recommend it. And as you can see, I have the liquid dirt in there. I always recommend bottom watering, which if I were to bottom water, I would just go ahead and put the water in this tray and let it soak up. But since this is the first time with these, I will give them a little bit of water on the top, just to kind of 
help stabilize them a little bit because they're a little wobbly in their soil. Now the nice thing with plants, there's no right and wrong way in life. You just try things out and see what works for you. So just because I do something one way does not mean you have to do it the same way. I just am sharing kind of what I'm experimenting with at the time, it'll probably change. But this is just kind of just my routine right now with new plants that I've repotted. And then the next thing I'm doing here, as you can see, is I put water in the bottom here. And then I'll probably let them sit in this for about 30 minutes and then I'll take out any excess water. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so my episodes show up in your newsfeed and give me a follow on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to do this as a little bit of a change from my, you know, plant shopping and that kind of thing. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye!